All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you just some tips on uh, sniping to help your gameplay. Sorry if I sound a little different. I'm pretty congested. But I wanted to get a couple things out of the way before we really get into the video. Just a couple basic things. Um, centering and keeping your crosshair level is going to be key. Um, not necessarily level to where a head would be if they're standing on the same like level as you. But if you're rounding a corner, people are usually on this hill. You're going to want to be looking there before you round the corner, just in case. And another thing is when you're sniping, you don't want to be moving. So if you're on mouse and keyboard, you want to just stop pushing WASD. If you're on a controller, you want to let go of uh, the left stick. I think it's the left for Xbox and PS4, but you're going to not want to move um, at all. So just make sure you follow those things. Those are the really basic things. And then we're going to get into some more advanced things here in a second. Anyways, I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. I hope this video helps. If it does, like the video. If you want to see more Battlefield content, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, let's get right into this. So the first thing is you're going to want to always stay moving. A lot of times in Battlefield and in any Battlefield, I see a lot of snipers that play kind of more realistic role where they literally will lay down or sit in one single spot and in some of these clips you'll see me kind of hovering around an area but the point is you don't want to just stay scoped in and looking at one specific area you're going to want to move around find different cover and different angles because it actually plays a huge part you become a really easy target if you're laying down and just staying in one spot in fact in a lot of these clips you'll see people that are just moving to the same spot, laying there, they're not really giving themselves any chance. So just make sure you're always moving around, you're always doing something to where it's going to be harder for another sniper to kill you or someone with an SVK. So those are, are really the two things that are going to be a huge issue for you. So if you follow that, that should increase your KD because a lot of times you can get a shot off from a different angle or you're going to be harder to hit and you can kill that other sniper or whatever they're using. So yeah, just do that for sure. It's going to help you a ton. All right, the next part, get out of your scope. You see so many times people sitting on a hill and they scan an area. I'll see their glint and I get them nine times out of 10. It's pretty rare that I get the jump on somebody and they're able to still kill me. So if you're looking at one spot, you want to look somewhere else, get out of your scope. Not only is that going to help you with, other people not being able to see your glint but it's going to let you open up that field of view see everything that's going on maybe you're not far away maybe you're close and you need to be able to see more things to see where you should aim to have the best chance of getting kills a lot of times you could be aiming in a spot where maybe people are running left to right they're not running straight at you whereas to the left people are running straight at you and you don't have to lead a shot and it's going to be a lot easier so doing that's going to definitely help get more kills not only is it going to help you get more kills, it's going to keep you alive longer. Like I said, people won't be able to see your glint. And the next part is going to be moving while you're sniping. When, when you're aiming in to take a shot, don't move anymore. When you do move, you are decreasing the accuracy. And a lot of times you're not meaning to move and you're not compensating on your aim for that movement. So definitely stop moving the mouse. Stop moving the joystick. It's going to help you a ton. I see that in almost every sniping game, whether it's Call of Duty or Battlefield or anything really. CSGO, just, you know, sit still, don't move, take your shot. And it doesn't have to be a long time either. Literally just that split second you shoot, don't move. All right, and this last part's going to be kind of a shotgun part. We're going to do this quick. Um, angles is huge. A lot of times you're going to notice on a breakthrough at least people are just sitting in one spot because everybody funnels into that spot. The ideal spot for you to be is going to not be there and be to the left or the right, above, wherever, somewhere that's not typically looked at. Um, that's how I've found a lot of success with sniping in Battlefield 2042 and other battlefields for that matter because a lot of the team is going to look in that spot. Um, and then leading shots, there's a lot of people that are going to say lead for a body shot. Don't go for a headshot. All right. Personally, I think just go for the shot. The only way you're going to get better is by doing it. Watching this video, watching any other video is not going to make you any better. The only way you're going to get better is if you actually go out and do it. So take those shots. Do what you got to do. Sometimes you're going to do cool stuff. Sometimes you're going to miss. Sometimes you're going to die. A lot of times leading in this game for me 
I don't get punished for it because they're so far away that if they start shooting at me, I'm just gone. Um, but those are all my tips. As the game progresses and more patches come out, I'll be doing more advanced sniping tips and uh, just advanced battlefield gameplay in general. So like I said earlier in the video, if you are looking for that, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Later. Bravo 1, under assault by Allied forces.